Hello, welcome to a new video. So we've got a little tip for you today. Uh, it's going to be a nice, quick and short video. Um, basically, we need to back to black the bumpers because they're obviously it's our work van. They've just been like sun. The sun's got to them and it's just gone all grey and horrible. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to wash them down first and then you use a heat gun. Um, you have to be careful with a heat gun, obviously, to make sure you don't melt the plastic and stuff. But you heat the actual plastic up. And I don't know the exact science behind it, but I'm pretty sure it brings the resin and the dye out of, back out to the surface and makes them back to the original colour. And then after you've done that, you then apply back to black, either gel, we're going to apply gel, but you can anything that's back to black on it after, and that will obviously protect it and hopefully make it last longer. Um, it shouldn't take too long to do it. It should be, you know I mean, after washing it, maybe half hour job, but that'll be front bumper and back bumper, and we'll probably maybe do the wind mirrors well if they need doing. Um, so yeah, we're going to crack on with that, but we'll show you how you do it because I've I've tried it and I've tested it out and it works really well. Um, so it's definitely a trick that I've learned not that long ago, and I think it might be useful for some of you out there that need to do it as well. Right, so uh, let's hit the So now we've uh, washed all the bumpers and stuff, we're just going to use the heat gun and go over the, all the bumpers all the way around them and try to get all, as much of it as we can. Um, I'll quickly demonstrate how you do it, but it's not too difficult, you literally just hold it down, let it come on and then just obviously keep, don't keep it on the same spot though, just to kind of do like little circles and move about so you don't overheat one spot. So just give you a quick demonstration. It can take a while because you need it to get up to temperature. If you can see, there's a, a light bit here and a dark bit here. This is the bit I've done, the dark part, the light bit I've not. So you can clearly see the difference there, and that's just with the heat gun. That's not with no back to black or anything like that. So if you see all this white stuff here, watch all this just go. Look at that. So I feel safe and sound. all the heat gunning and it's put it up really nicely but we just need to finish it off with some back to black and using a mi microfiber cloth and it's windy as well so sorry about the wind noise <laughs> so what you do is you just put an even layer on all around and then leave it for a couple of minutes and then you come around back again and clean it all off Look how much better that looks. Looks almost like it's new. It's come up that well. But yeah, so the trick of the heat gun and then back to black after brings it up butte. And let me show you around the back. So this is the back. Yeah, I think it looks pretty small, especially compared to how it did look. So that's it for this video. I know it was only a short video today, but I hope it was helpful. Yes, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. So I